Happy Friday. It's Tim Wilde, Friday Ascension update. And it's a beautiful early spring morning here in Southern England. The sun started coming up at quarter past six, start to see a bit of daylight. The days are getting longer and they're getting warmer and spring is on its way. And as well as the physical daylight, we've got a huge increase in the in the etheric light that we are receiving. I was talking about this last night in my Blue Blue Rose workshop, the Pleiadian Healing Workshop. And um, for those of you who've been following me on Zoom and and the, the workshops that I ever do on my own with Carolyn, with Diana, with David, in a lot of, a lot of the circumstances they are gear, geared towards increasing light increasing velocity increasing our kind of ability to provide a, a a workload on a spiritual basis but just occasionally and last night was one of those circumstances i get the get the nudge from the universe to just create a healing pool uh, or like a, a healing group because i think at the moment and um uh, I always I always use myself as a as a bit of a litmus test. If I'm feeling a certain way, I can guarantee that other people are feeling a certain way. A lot of us on this pathway at the moment, we're all very interconnected. We've got similar but never the same challenges being presented to us, and we're all kind of running on the same on the same gas. The same light that's coming in is 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 our fuel it's our momentum it's the, the light codings that we all individually need and this is as well as the the circumstances that we are kind of participating or faced with in 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 the kind of 3d circus around us and it occurred to me that it's been a year since all of it's now it's we're coming towards the end of february and it's been a full year since the global navel chakra was activated and we got really pushed forwards and all of the circumstances that we've been experiencing for the past year have begun now what i'm what i'm seeing and the re the reason why i organized like a healing zoom was last night is because i'm getting the overall impression that many of us are quite tired okay and not not just tired on a physical level but i'm talking um kind of quite exhausted on a soul level as well and this alternates <clears throat> some days we can wake up and we feel absolutely marvelous we feel like you know we're already in 5d our heads are in the clouds we're grounded everything's kind of moving along swimming you know and then wallop there is a there is a what i call a flex in the field or a release of density or a or an obstacle energetic obstacle that comes up that that knocks us completely in the other direction so we're kind of constantly we're we're flim flamming or yo-yoing or or snorkeling between these these two kind of um it's a very up and down it's a very up and down pathway at the moment and so my observation is that that we are we are feeling a little bit a little bit fatigued a little bit knackered on a soul level and a lot of this is coming from having to deal with 3d circumstances you know we talk about you know <clears throat> some of us are lucky enough to share our lives with other people that are awake but others on the pathway we've not we've not yet found or settled into the the kind of like the higher vibration commune of our soul family and that's where it gets really wearing for a lot of you out there and I, I know I know this in my heart of hearts that if, if if there's you awake holding the light speaking the truth doing the job that you've incarnated to do but you're surrounded by people that are still asleep and they are in many cases they've been quite oppositional this can be really draining it can be absolutely exhausting so it's where we are at the moment we're just about to launch into another very very fast moving year this next six months is going to be the it, it's the this is where we're we've kind of reached the crest or the what i'd call the tip of the wave just before it breaks of the check the change energy the reason why it's been so fast moving why it's been so so roller coaster is because in order to provide change 
for a planet on the level that we are seeing a huge amount of energy had to be applied to to earth and and in order to alchemize the, the old matrix move us out of that and into one that we are creating as we're going along in this coming August, the storm layer that you've heard me talking about previously is beginning to slow down. So this is the last six months of the pivotal push of energy. Everything that we are creating now, between now and August, everything that we're working for, everything that we're committing ourselves to, is of utmost importance. So I understand that many of you out there are feeling incredibly tired incredibly challenged it's it, it all might seem like it's a little bit too much but hang in there okay because <clears throat> we've had the most incredible results so far from what we're doing it might not seem like it on on a on an outside level you might look at the people around you you might look at the oppressive circumstances that are being kind of blah blah by the news all the time but trust me, it is working. I'm always told whenever I have a little niggle or a little doubt or, or a little kind of a stamp my feet moment, which we all do. That's what, that's what our guys are trained to deal with as well. I'm told to trust the plan, anchor in there, because where we are at the moment is it's, it's we've reached critical mass on the awakening phase. Last year, two billion extra souls were triggered into a state of awakening. Now, the, the, in, in many circumstances, when somebody is shown the truth, when, they're, when the fifth veil comes away from the third eye and all of the light and all of the knowledge and all of the extra sensory stream in, there's two ways that they tend to deal with it. The first one is shock wake up. These people wake up almost instantaneously and it's, it, it's like the hood is taken off. I've likened it before to going to a really cool party, spending the night there, having the most amazing time, then in the morning you kind of left stood in the middle of a field, someone takes a hood off your head and your world has changed. That's, that's one way of kind of waking up and grasping what's going on at the moment. But the other one is probably one you're a lot more familiar with and see around you quite a lot, the cognitive dissonance, where people are now literally actively denying the truth of what they see and it's most evident on social media now these are the energy jay this is where it gets really exhausting for us because a lot of the time we feel like it's our it's our sole duty to kind of educate or wake these people up or assist them what we need to do or what i put the way i always deal with this is just stand back and let the energy take its course okay you can plant seeds you can you can drop truths you can you speak you know, speak your truth at all times, but as I've said previously, never take it upon yourself to try and shake people awake faster than they are, because believe me, the universe is doing that for us. The next six months, the, the this, uh, I think, uh, you know, I spoke about this the last time, it is pivotal, okay? The, the energy that is building at the moment is, uh, it's reaching a pitch, a crescendo, and I'm noticing, and I know a lot of others are noticing as well, truths are starting to come out in the mainstream media from sources that we would never have, <laughs> you know, we would have never thought, wow, okay, so they've, they've changed their narrative. And it's, it, it, I believe that there's two timelines almost running parallel with each other. There's one where the, the, the 3D and the 3D results are very much going in that direction. And there's also the one that we're existing in that we're creating and as we're going along. So it's very fluid, it's very pliable. Everything that we add to it on a daily basis builds to it. So it's incredibly important. So I know you're feeling tired. I am um, I get my good days and I get my tired days. And I've, I've always been very honest with everyone. If I'm challenged by something or if something has caused me opposition, then I learn from it. That is how I manage to give the information out that I do, because it's usually nine times out of 10, it will be a personal experience that I've navigated myself and that I've learned from. The other, one, the other small percentage of it is just information that is dropped in and is given to me as a heads up in the general, the general direction that we're going. So yeah, the yo-yo of tiredness, the roller coaster of ups and downs, they will continue. 
and they cave but the beautiful part about it is we've now got spring we've got now got spring in our tails or spring in our step especially in the in the south of the uk a bit chilly this morning but the sun's out birds are singing and with more daylight comes more joy more vitamin d more kind of opportunities to go out and get fresh air stay grounded get yourself out in nature do the things that make your heart sing take time out of the process that we're experiencing at the moment if you have found yourself kind of reaching maximum density that you you've, you've suddenly you just you, you're tired you can't take anymore you just need to withdraw do that and i've always said like if you need if you need to bail out and you need to kind of hand it over to the others then do it because you know back in the day we might have kind of because when we when we were less connected you know social media has brought us all together when we were less connected we kind of like had this mantle of responsibility on our own personal shoulders we thought that literally we're the only ones that are out there you know as as one steps back two step forward at the moment there's so many of us on this pathway so many of us accepting responsibility for the job now we just got, we've just got this huge surge of awakened souls on this planet who are ready and waiting and already actively involved in doing this task. So yeah, that that's it. It's just, um, I noticed particularly, this, this week has been quite challenging energetically and a, a lot of you kind of reflected that in the, the Zoom workshop, the Plydean Rose workshop last night. On Monday, um, obviously I live in the UK, you can probably tell by my accent if you haven't heard me before, on Monday we had further announcements for the lockdown you know the, the the whole the whole kind of palaver that's that's going on globally but and before that occurred before the announcements which a lot of people were kind of waiting for with trepidation the the information came to came to me get get ready with the violet flame you know basically douse your bodies and fields with the cosmic diamond violet flame the lilac fire of source the golden rainbow flame whatever your flame of choice is and make sure that there is a substantial quantity of it available for the collective because when these announcements are made we've got a huge field of people in the uk whose livelihoods depend on what is being rolled out by the by the by the powers that be say that in inverted commas and so the the there is a huge field of frustration there's a huge field of kind of righteous anger and worry and fear and when these are triggered at a certain time collectively that 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 field flexes it, it expands you know fields of energy expand they contract they they alchemize they get added to they're like they're like eye clouds like pools so there was this huge flex in the field on monday night particularly in the uk around between 5 and 7 p.m and although i'd been told although i'd been given the heads up i didn't quite violet flame myself enough and i felt it i really did and um so a lot of you will be kind of dealing with this increase in in the, this build-up this pensiveness this one thing about people who are awake but they're not acknowledging it is that their frustration is rising okay a lot of the time we're we're talking on social media you see it in comment threads people acting irrationally people being angry people lashing out a lot of this is because when you ignore the reality or the truth of something and you hold it inside it turns into anger it turns into rage it turns into a negative emotion so there's a lot of people lashing out at, the, at each other in the fields especially on social media you know it's, it's a good it's a good thing to disengage from social media from time to time it can be incredibly supportive because it's the way that we all communicate with each other it's the way that we receive our info the positive information but it's also a really good place to get into a ding dong <laughs> as many of you will know if you if you you're in the if you're in the truth speaking camp then it can be it can be a place that can really take your energy and, and knock you down a little but see so yeah, that's my friday message today it's um take a step back and give yourself some r and r if you need it because soul fatigue uh, is is at an all-time high but this is and this is the big but we are now entering the final creationary push the next six months are very very important 
So take your little bit of time out and then get straight back in there again. Because because all hands on deck, all boots on the ground, everybody is absolutely needed. And and like I've said previously, if, if you are struggling, if you are feeling that, um, that, that you are under pressure, then call on the angels, call on the unicorns, call on the dragons, call on the ascended masters. You have a team of highly dedicated light souls all around you at all times, but they need permission to intervene with whatever you are experiencing it. Be it a test, be it an initiation, be it something, a project that you are working on, call for assistance or maybe take a step back. You can always pick it up again a little bit later down the line when you've regenerated. So call on them. They, they are, that's, that's something that I've been told is like, you know, we're, we're surging forwards so hard at the moment that, that we almost, and we've taken this level of responsibility, almost forgetting to ask help from the souls in, in, in the light realms who are basically gathered around this earth in quantities that have never been witnessed before, um, doing their own part. And, and they're here to help us. So, yeah. We're near a woodpecker over there, I think. That was a, not a nice addition to the morning. And yeah, I should think probably the next time I speak to you, it will be March. Uh, I've got a couple of lovely workshops coming up in March. You know, there's a lot, lots, lots of goodies. On the 8th of March, I am running a crystals and crystal skull workshop because I'd like to take it back to basics a little bit. I know I talk about crystals and, 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 and how to use them and everything, but this will be a, this will be a PowerPoint hour just dedicated to how I, me personally, work with my crystals, what they do, what the best way to communicate with them is, how to activate them, how to tune them into certain energies and what they do for us on the ascension pathway and also the, the the enduring question of crystal skulls why crystal skulls because they've been with us since of you know atlantean times and a lot of people are like oh it's a crystal skull why a skull kind of thing because it's become a symbol of something negative in the last 10 2000 years so that's the 8th of march and then on the 22nd of march david essary and myself are beginning the first of the four part series based on the beloved archangels okay now that book was one that i've mentioned previously it was written amazingly in the 1950s by thomas prince now what we're doing we've 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 we're pairing up with two archangels for each session and we will be dedicating an hour and a half for each session to these two archangels and there'll be a series of four one a month for the next four months starting in march now they're going to be they're going to be tied in with um, David's amazing artwork as well. So they're going to be powerful. They're going to be light-hearted, and we're just going to be celebrating the presence of the archangels as well because they are really moving forwards with their energetics, assisting us at the moment. And um, that's basically where my roots began. When I started this journey, I connected to the archangels, and they've been by, by my side ever since. So yeah, I hope you've all got something nice planned for the weekend I've got, um, I've got i've got lots to do here children around lots 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 of things going on but keep your light high your frequency clear your manifestation sharp if you need to step out just step out a little bit recenter revive got lots of tools on my website if you're feeling a little bit buffeted or a bit knocked around at the moment anyway i'm sending you loads of love and i'll be back on monday with a meditation Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.